The film shows uh, some teenagers spending time um, around a building, a monument in Madrid, uh, constructed by Franco. And um, you see them during the nine hours of the duration of the movie for CO, um, just spending time in a very slow motion video. Subrosa is literally the secret. It is also something that um, you can see actually in the movie as well as details. All these teenagers have rosy symbols on the clothes or on the skin. Slow motion is something between photography and video. And the subject of the movie is about teenagers. They are not kids anymore and not adults. And the sunset is also not day or not night. So the movie is all about this balance and certain ambiguity uh, between two states. It's a really immersive room. Um, it's kind of dystopian and utopian as well. Sylvain knows how to harness the tension <laughs> at the boundary between photography and film, between documentation and fiction, between the everyday and the political. And I think for Sabrosa, its quality lies in making just such contribution, analytical contribution. It's not an audio track per se, it's more of a sound installation. Uh, the sound is not uh, recorded in advance, it's uh, actually a generative piece of uh, audio work. It uh, consists of a pretty large modular synthesizer that it's patched, so programmed in a way, to uh, generate continuously a uh, stream of uh, audio that never repeats. The Talent Award is a program for supporting young um, artists. We are awarding one talent award a year to an art critique and an artist and that's the specialty um, actually. It's the only prize of its kind in Europe that is awarded to both a practice and a theorist. The 2019 topic and it was the same last year and it uh, will be the same in the future is new documentary strategies. Um, which is um, engaging with the fact that photography obviously always was connected to the realm and was considered a very documentary medium in the last, I don't know, 10 or 20 years um, when the new so-called networked images came up that we're all capturing with our smartphones. Our um, engaging with the medium changed a lot and um, the, it is very much in question if photography is still in the same way um, a documentary medium.